We're just over here paying a visit with our Twitter star, Billy the Bull. Um, Billy's been here since he was three months old. I bought him off a friend of mine. He's now going on 10, so he's getting a bit long in the tooth, but he's been an absolutely fantastic bull for us. Um, has great, great male calves, great future bulls, and, and the cows that uh, he breeds are easy calving, and the bulls uh, that he produces also produce easy calving as well. Um, you can think of all the superlatives that you like with Bill, but uh, all of them apply to him. He's got a great temperament, we just love him. Um, he hasn't got a mean bone in his body, but as with all bulls, you just need to be careful because they are very large animals. Billy weighs around a thousand kilos, or he weighed a thousand kilos, that was his fighting weight in his prime. Uh, he's probably lightened off a little bit now with age, and he's slowed down a bit. Uh, but uh, we, we love him and he's got a home here for life and people say well what are you going to do uh, if something happens to him well he'll be buried in a prominent position on our farm when that time comes and I don't think anyone here likes uh, even thinking about that but he's still living out his life really nicely he still chases the girls around gets a bit of a, a limp up sometimes with a sore leg but uh, People on Twitter absolutely love him, and uh, so do we. And uh, there was a bit of a story about him. When I bought him, I, I went to buy another another bull, and uh, the bull jumped out of the out of the pen where it was, so I didn't buy it. And uh, then I found out that Bill was for sale at three months of age, and I found out whose bull he was, and I thought, oh yeah, okay, so. I might buy him and uh, I'll tell you what, certainly pleased I did. Um, the other bull that jumped out apparently was being sold because he was a fence jumper. Never ever had any trouble like that with Billy. Um, the only party tricks he's got is when he sticks his tongue up his nose. And here's one of Billy's sons just taking a bit of a rest under a tree. Uh, we haven't got a name for this fella but you can tell he's one of Billy's boys. And uh, he's another good little bull. He started chasing the girls around now. Nice and solid. And uh, also has a, just a fantastic temperament like all of Billy's offspring. This is one of Billy's daughters. She's a lovely old cow. I don't know, she'd probably be five years old now, I reckon. Uh, maybe a year older than that even, but you know, very, very quiet. Uh, when she's calving, you can do anything with her. Uh, if a calf needs assistance, uh, she'll let you give her a hand. Um, but she's just a typical offspring of Bill. This is young Jack. He's the next generation of Billy. Uh, a lovely little bull. Uh, and he's going to be very, very good for our farm as well. Uh, Billy's following me around, so I'll give him an extra treat. There you go, mate. He loves his bread. He loves raisin bread. That's his favourite. I think he wants the camera so he can start taking photos. Good boy, nice. And one thing that we really love about uh, Bill's calves is that he throws a lot of calves, probably 95% of calves that have what we call panda eyes where they have the uh, black pigmentation or uh, the darker pigmentation around their eyes. It's not com completely white um, because if they get a completely white face they have a greater chance of getting cancer in their eyes than, uh, than a, a calf or a cow that has the pigmentation around their eyes. So that's, that was just another big plus with him. <laughs>